Hello everybody, it's uh, welcome to my next advent calendar entry. This is Pika and today I have a very special guest. Why don't you come and introduce yourself? Hello everybody, I'm Mars from Echo Mars. And she has a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel that I will link in the description below. Let's just hop straight in to number 10, which is a tie, which includes Koffer Grigas and... Go luck. So if we hop to Koffer Grigas first, yep. um, just as a heads up to everyone, um, number, like, every single Pokemon in this um, top 10 will have two immunities at the very least because of the ghost typing which are normal and fighting type moves, will not affect them whatsoever. But number 10, Koffer Grigas and Golurk both have 483 in total stats. And just don't try and make Koffer Grigas speedy. It won't work. No, he only has 30 speed. Whereas his defense is freaking beastly. Yes, yeah, it's a pretty reasonable Pokemon if you want to have, like, Someone to be like as a shield. Why are you using Pokemon? Why are you using revised one point comp? So, for example, I would run, say I'm running by a comp team on Gen 5, I would use Cofagrigus for defense whilst I'm he uh, reviving or healing up my other Pokemon. Mm -hmm. It does also have 105 in special defense, which is good to know, but its, de it's physical defense is better. Indeed. Try and if you when you want to do attacks, make it a, phys a special attacker even, because yeah. its physical attack is forty five stat points lower, which is fun. Um, so because it's a pure ghost type, it has an immunity to normal and fighting type. It's it's uh weak against ghost and dark type, and it has a resistance to bug and poison. Exactly. And if we move down into the moves learned. Yep, my we'll level up. Just in general, we'll just go level up and TM together because they're right next to each other. Okay. For once. For once, Curse actually makes sense on a Pokemon. Yeah, indeed. Because there are so many Pokemon that have those type moves, like have Curse, and it makes no sense because they're really speedy. For Comp, using Curse is a good... Um, so, like, say you literally want to get a Pokemon down fast. Again, like, say your opponent brings out a Pokemon that you get down fast, and you just want to like, you have... A, a couple of Grigas just to waste. Just make sure you have a, a curse with it. So it's a good t it's, it's a good one to have on your team, especially attacker or just for a quick buff up a few Pokemon and then curse to kill it to kill it off quickly. Yeah, I got myself confused between the normal uh, for a, every other type. I had to ghost type <laughs> moves. Whoops. I'm so used to talking about other types with curse. Destiny Bond is also a really, really, really good one. Destiny Bond's a great move to use because obviously you can then, when your Pokemon's dead, obviously that Pokemon's gonna die, which is good in comp. Say your mm. say your your um opponent's running like a Pokemon, that you're, that you can't defeat because your team hasn't got a type. That's good. That's but just like, keep. Also, that. do keep in mind that it only works for the next move after you use it. Yeah. So you just have to keep that in mind. Willow Wisp is a good move to use as well. Willow Wisp is a, is a great move. Mhm. Mm and Shadow Ball as well. Great, great special attack. Exactly. Um, and it can learn it through TM as well. But might be better idea to just learn it through TM, to be honest. <laughs> um, it gets Energy Ball as well, which is quite interesting to me. Simply because it's a grass type move, so it well it doesn't really cover any of its weaknesses, but oh well. <laughs> um, of course, it has ghost type moves, which are super effective against ghost types. But if we look at type effectiveness, it does get infestation, which is an interesting move to get on it, since it will keep the opposing Pokemon in battle. 
Yeah, exactly. And, you don't really want that. And it covers it. It some. It kind of covers its dark type weakness since it's a bug type. But yeah. At the same time, it's only twenty power. So. Eh. Uh, get swagger and substitute. Substitute, which could be really good. Substitute's a great move to use when, as I said before, in comp. Hmm. Crafty shield as well. Hmm. Has priority plus three. Wow. Um. And it protects the user's team from any status category move targeted at them. Interesting, but it doesn't protect against the moves Perish Song, Spike, Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, or Sticky Web. Hmm. Interesting. And it's learnt through breeding, so that's an interesting one, actually, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, it gets Dark Pulse as well. It gets Nightmare, which is really good. It gets Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes is really good as an entry hazard move. Yeah, and indeed. By move tutor moves, an intro one I find really interesting is Shockwave. Yeah, electric type. With it's it's more just the fact that in multi battles it would be good. Yeah, I, I see why that would be helpful. Mm. And then transfer only moves gets two. Which are Flash is secret power. Secret power is meh. Flash is just don't use it. Flash is basically just a, a move you want to use during your playthrough yeah. when you're going through dark caves. Yep. For example, in Gen 1, you've got Mount Moon. Yep, yep. And secret cave, etc, etc. And normal versus shiny. We both agree that the normal's better, but we do both like the shiny. Yeah, I for me, I like the shinies. Like pink or purple, I think it's a pink. It's more magenta, I think. Mm, purpley pinky thing. Yeah, like for the Gen Five sprite, it's more purple. For Gen Six is more of a pink. Mm. But I reckon what they could, what they should have done is like for the base one, they should have made it purple with gold. Hmm. Because that would have been a nice combination. And it would have like like the yellowish tint with the purple, like they're complementary colors. So yeah, they would have popped. Yeah. And now if we go over to Golurk, which is a ground and ghost type, so it actually gets another immunity with on top of its normal two, which is an electric type immunity. And Which is always fun. It is always fun. And it gets three abilities. Iron Fist, Klutz, and No Guard. Do not get Klutz. Do not. Just no. no. No one wants clats ever. No. Because it kind of inherited items, which why do you want that? I don't know if I recommend no guard over iron fist. Um, right. So no guard is a hidden ability. Yep. Um, no guard ensures that all attacks are used by and targeted to that the ability bearer hit without fail. So it's moves used on a Pokemon in the hidden stage of the moves to fly, dive, dive, dig, and shadow force. Which that is. Like, it's okay, but at the same time, do you really want, a mo like, every single move to hit you? That's the thing that I don't like. True. Whereas Iron Fist, any, like, physical by punching moves, are in um, the power's increased by 20%. For example, with Golurk, obviously, his physical attacks, such as... Mega Punch, Shadow Punch, Hammer Dynamic arm. Punch... The hammer on nerve and work. Focus punch. I think. Yeah, anything. Punch. Doesn't doesn't hammer arm actually do affect it? I it might do. Um... Like drain punch. You got focus punch. Ice ice punch as well. Hmm. Um. Since I never punch types, and you have moves even. It says in its um game descriptions that it swings and hits with its strong and heavy fist. Hmm. So, I'm guessing it would count as well? I guess so, yeah. It would make sense for it to. And it gets Fire Punch, Ice Punch as well, and Thunder Punch, so it gets the Elemental Punches. Which could be really useful. Indeed. It gets Shockwave as well. A lot of Pokemon seem to get Shockwave. With its stats, it's best 
stat, of course, is attack with 124. Yeah. Obviously, its weakest being special rule attack and speed being 55. Mm. So, obviously, uh, it's slow, but it's strong. Yeah. And because of its ground type, um, ground typing gets that third immunity, which is really useful, but it does get yeah. a hell more, hell of a lot more weaknesses as well to counteract that one extra immunity, but then it does get a quad Such resistance as... to poison. That's great. Quad resists poison. So, and it resists bug and rock type as well. Yeah, bug, rock, um, t -t 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 yeah, bug, bug and rock is only double though. Yeah, it's only, um, it's only single it's resistance. weaknesses is water, grass, ice, ghost and dark. So it gets those three elemental ones as well as the ghost and dark. Um, Which is kind of a big risk. Yeah. I mean, if you bring it out against, well, it's got, it's got a tie in both defences anyway, as well as, it's tied, it's, Speed and special attack are tied, and both of its defenses are tied. Yeah, so, uh, 80. And then special attack and speed are both tied at 55. I mean, at least it's faster than a certain Pokemon we just talked about. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it does get Ice Beam and Hyper Beam and Toxic as well. Yeah, it's Brick Break, which I'm not sure count for Iron Fist. I'm not sure. Yeah, it, I would have thought it would, because, well, especially in Diamond Pearl Platinum, because it goes, the yeah. user attacks with tough, tough fists. <laughs> I can't say it. The sound. Tough, tough fists. <laughs> it's the fists. <laughs> but then, later generations, it goes, the user attacks with a swift chop. But I'm not sure... It's interesting. Yeah. If we quick, if I quickly just say, go look, uh, shiny. I prefer over normal. That's silver, and the black and the green. Cool. The shiny looks more robotic, which is really cool. Mm, I prefer it because like the combination of the silver and then the dark and then the bright green. Yeah, definitely. It like it pops. If we go on to number nine, which is a Pokemon that didn't used to have a weakness. Until it came to Gen 6, which is Spiritomb. So it gets three weaknesses. Again, it, it gets three resistances even. Um, and it only has one weakness, which is... Fairy. Exactly. It does get another resist... It does get another immunity even being psychic because it's a ghost and dark type. Um... Yeah. In terms of ability, I'm not sure which one I'd recommend because pressure is really useful. Um, especially for those high power moves. So Infiltrator's um, description reads, Infiltrator ignores the effect of reflect light screen and safeguard in other words. If the opponent has to use safeguard toxic, would still badly poison them. Hmm. So, it's best attack, uh, best stats are in its defences and they're tied and then both Attack stats are tied as well at the next best. Of Talking course, it's, like, it's it's slow and has weak HP. But the defences kind of back it up. Especially with... There's only one type that actually does decent damage against it. So everything else is just neutral it's men it gets a resistance to poison type as well so it's you know there's at least something to go by i'm back sorry about that no problem we go down into moves as well yep infuse rate level one i'll back into a second speaker if you want to carry on i'll yep. just return shortly yep so confuse rate level one which is a very very useful move as well as hypnosis actually the combination of those two moves isn't as good as Parafusion, but could be used really, really well. Gets Dark Pulse for Stab. Gets Sucker Punch for Stab as well. Ominous Wind. And these are just uh, level up moves. If we go into TM moves, it gets Shadow Ball. It gets Taunt. 
it gets thief even it gets willow wisp as well which with willow wisp it if i remember correctly it halves attack which could be good especially with its high uh 108 defenses um egg moves it gets destiny bond it gets shadow sneak foul play pain split um more tm moves it gets quite a lot it gets dark pulse again infestation again it gets giga impact which is not really my kind of thing move tutor moves um shockwave again which is always fun it's got a lot it's got decent coverage it gets water pulse as well which is interesting um, go to him, get snatch and icy wind, water pulse, wonder room. Uh, I'm back, Pico. welcome back. I'm just looking through the moves. Okay, I'll get on to the next one. Ready? Yep, and quickly just look at the shiny sprites as well of spirit team. Which one do you prefer? Um, one second, total, total spirit team, spirit team. They were. <laughs> Um, shiny, shiny, shiny. I could click the things, I couldn't I? I like both I like, of them. I like the blue, to be fair. Mm, I like both of them. Looking at, looking at the Gen Stick sprite, like, mm. he looks more straight on as well. It's, like, just the, shiny... it's just the angling that they put for it. Yeah, I, I do like that, though. Yeah, I like both. I like both, um, or I, I like its shiny and normal sprites. Yeah. I don't know which one I prefer, though. I prefer... I'd prefer shiny to be honest. Mm. Then again, obviously, I'm kind of a person who runs shinies on their team. <laughs> but with a comp team, you should only ever want, run one shiny because that was it can get annoying with the whole animation all the time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And now, if we go on to number eight, which is the Gurgeist. Gurgeist, yep. And it's four different ones because they have four different sizes, so they have four different stat totals. We go to average size first. Yep. And they all have the same abilities, they all have the same moves, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. Uh, type defences, because it's a ghost and grass type, it does get more weaknesses. But it does get a few more resistances as well, it doesn't have any new immunities. Best stat for the average size is defence, followed by attack, then speed. If you have an average size, run it as an attacker over a special attack because its special attack is the worst stat of all of the ones it has indeed and in terms of weaknesses it's got a weakness to fire ice and flying now because of grass type if we go yep. on to small size it yep i'm already on uh it's best stat is again uh defense then, Defense again, then speed. Yep, again. Then attack, special defense, special attack, and then HP. Yep. And then if we go to large, best again is defense, then attack, then tied, special defense, and HP. And then for the super, super size, <laughs> um, best is defense. What do you think? On, on little defense, best yeah. wise. And it's yeah. the same, each one. Attack, defense, attack, and then HP, then special attack, and then... No, 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 special, special defense, then special, special attack. That's what I meant. I, know what I, meant. <laughs> I read it wrong. No problem. So, oh, wait. Yeah, always, always run it as an attacker over a special attack. Yeah, 100%. It gets, it gets Confuse Rate and Leech Seed, which is a nice combination. Indeed. Um... Gonna trick or treat, which I believe, yeah, it's it's only the pumpkin wound gorgeist. Um, and it adds the ghost type onto the target, and if it's a dual type, it essentially becomes a triple typed Pokemon. Yep, that's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. But it also fails if one of the Pokemon's types is already Ghost. That's fun. So, 
grass type is replaced. Right. So the effects of this move. Trick or treat adds the ghost type onto the target. If the go if the target is dual type, then it essentially becomes a triple type Pokemon. It fails if one of the Pokemon's types is already ghost. If the target is under the effect of Forest's curse, the grass type is replaced by ghost. Hmm. We'll quickly look at abilities as well. Pick up is great during normal game. Yep. Um, and I. I, I think Insomnia is better of a frisk. Indeed. A competitive. Uh, if you're going to move, so Confuse Ray, Leech Seed, which is a lovely combination. Yep. Um, this is just three level up. Get Seed Bomb as well, Bullet Seed, uh, Phantom Force, Explosion. And if we go into TM moves, get Solar Beam as well. Get Sludge Bomb and Flamethrower. Um, I always like to look if there's like anything over its weaknesses, so it gets a fire, ice, flying. So it also does get rock slide by TM, which is strong against all three of its net new weaknesses, isn't it? I always get confused with ice type versus rock type. Um. Otherwise, it does also get Gyro Ball, which is super effective against Ice types. It does get its type effectiveness. It gets Destiny Bond through Egg moves. It gets Curse as well. Um, move Tutor moves. Pain Split, which is lovely if you're low on HP. It gets Synthesis, Spite. And then Transfer Only moves. It gets Incinerate through Gen 6. It gets Rock Smash through Gen 6. But all of its moves will be through Gen 6 for transfer. And it's Sprite, so I prefer its normal over its shiny. Even though I love po uh even though I love purple, I just don't think purple suits it again. No. But I like the thing is, I like the black and the yellow for the actual purple body of the shiny. But mm -hmm. if it was like a neon orange for like the hair, I think that would be better. Yeah. And if we go on to our next friend at number seven, it's Miss Magius. My fav one of my favourite ghost types that I've used in playthroughs and comp. It doesn't have any extra abilities though, only gets levitate, which means it does have an immunity to ground type moves. It's a pure grass type again, so it gets three immunities and it just gets those resistances and two weaknesses which is pretty good yep it stats are tied so uh, three each so each stat is tied with something else best yep. uh, special attack special defense and speed at 105 and then the rest at 60 and it totals up to 495 um move set through level up, it gets Mystical Fire, which isn't a very commonly used move. It's only learned through Miss Magius and Delphox, which is probably why. Yep. And it also lowers the target special attack stat, which is pretty good. Always fun. Indeed it is. Gets Power Gem as well, Spite, Thunderbolt and Thunder. It's got a lot of different moves, to be honest. And it Thunderbolt gets... and Thunder is a fun like thun Thunder is fun to use, obviously. Especially with Rain Dance, which also Yeah, but gets... the Rain Dance is like it's obviously running say a... um so when I was running through um Moon originally, because obviously I got um a load of random Pokemon from a friend. Mm. Um because we went and bought like five like random games that like pre owned. Yeah. I found low shinies on all of them, so we just ended up putting them into our games. And we noticed, because um, we were leveling up our teams to 100 faster. Obviously, I was running with Magius at the time. Because I wanted to make my main team for Ghost that time. Yeah. I found, because I ran Kyogre just for Rain Dance for, for like, the, do the double, you know, the double fights you get. Yeah. So we were, we were running um, with Magius and Kyogre. Obviously, Kyogre running the Rain Dance. That was, like, it's Rain Ability, whatever it is. Durability. Which was it to Rain. And obviously having... Miss Maggie is running Thunder. 
is really strong kind of like good team thing mm -hmm. if we go down the tm moves as well it gets psychic shadow ball aerial ace energy ball and charge beam which is pretty good thunder wave um it get confused it doesn't seem to which kind of makes me sad because parafusion is always fun to use <laughs> It's always fun to use, but it doesn't seem to be, sadly. Oh, it does move mm. through pre-evolution moves, so if you keep it from um, Mistrevus... Evolving. Yeah. yeah. If you get keep it from Mistrevus, then you get easy power fusion. Yeah. Just saying, that's freaking awesome. What I used to do is... Again, and like, it, also, in... it also gets Dazzling Gleam, which would counteract Dazzling this Dark-type... It get it counteracts his dark type weakness. Yeah, a good thing to do is um when you want like say hidden abilities or certain moves, um it's good to like just constantly keep breeding. Yeah, but dazzling beam is through TM anyway, so that's fine. Oh, is that asked then? Yeah. Obviously, the move you said <laughs> about keeping um the move. What move was it again? You said Confuse before. Ray. About, no, the one you get from. Confuse Ray. It, was that the pre evolved one? Yeah, Confuse Ray. Okay, so <laughs> I. I'm... And it also gets Perish Song through pre evolution. Yeah, so obviously, um... Wait a sec. It gets Perish Song. Mean look. Perish Song is... questionable. Yes, but if you get Mean Look as well, and at the last move that you get... Because you get three turns before it kills both Pokemon. Yeah. And if you switch out on that final one move left, after using Mean Look... <sighs> The other op the opponent won't know if you're going to switch out or not on that last move, so it won't be able to switch out. Exactly. So that means you get another Pokemon down. That's always fun. Exactly. Transfer only moves, just normal type moves. Nothing important. We're looking yeah. at sprites. Ew, I don't like the shiny. No, I used to run the shiny um, just for fun. That I didn't really like the shiny. I no, the shiny just looks weird. The purple is more like ghostly. Yeah. Yellow is kind of weird. And it's a weird like shade it. of yellow anyway. Yeah. If we go up to number six. It's the evolution of the balloon that carries children to his death. Yeah. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> That's how I remember it. Cause obviously, um, I'm trying to th I think it was Drifloon. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to go and read Drifloon's. I think it was the, the um, I think it was Drifloon's Pokedex entry. Said about how it carries children to his death and like that. Yeah. I which is were, I I don't know which ability I would choose over it. Um, I'd say I would recommend Flare Boost personally. Obviously, that just means a lot, of, a lot of breeding and stuff. Yeah, but Flare Boost does raise special attack. Well, if yeah, you're well, burned. Well, well, only when, yeah, only when you're burned. But if you're not burned, then. Mm. Sucks to be you. But <laughs> again, well, its HP is its highest stat, then its special attack. So I would recommend either Flare Boost or Aftermath, but Unburden's a pretty fun move as well. Yeah. It does get another immunity being ground type because it's a ghost and flying type, but then it also does get another three weaknesses being electric, grass, and rock. Rock, which is a, um, which is a very commonly used type move. Yep. Especially with Stealth Rocks and Rock Slide, I believe, would be the most common ones. Um, if we, Yep, it's drowsy in daytime, but flies off in the evening in big groups. No one knows where they go. <laughs> it carries people and Pokemon when it flies, but since there it only go. drifts, it can end up anywhere. <laughs> end up taking children to their death. Uh, they carry people and Pokemon, but the wind can catch them. So there can't be a fixed destination. Interesting. There was once an incident in which a man took a trip riding a drift limb only to go missing. <laughs> I wonder where he ended up. There's a rumour that if you catch a drift limb floating on the wind at dusk, you'll be carried away into the afterlife. Charming. Fun times. Yep. It gets Thunderbolt and Thunder, it gets Rain Dance, so always fun. It gets Spit Up, Stockpile, Swallow, which I never use, but 
each to their own baton pass which if you've got stat raised stats raised absolutely amazing so calm mind with baton pass Just yes yes indeed um because then if you raise it all the way up and then baton pass it onto another Pokemon that's got better special attack or special defense, you get a special wall or just a special sweeper. <laughs> it gets amnesia as well. It gets uh, will-o'-wisp, which is always fun. It gets thunder wave. Um, explosion, which I don't use ever. I don't use moves that do recoil damage or just faint the user. Perish Song is always an interesting move, but I only use that in those situations that are interesting. Um, yeah. Gets Destiny Bond through Egg Move, it gets Tailwind as well as an Egg Move. Hypnosis is fun. Move Tutor Moves, it gets Tailwind again, it gets Magic Coat, Pain Split. I love the idea of using Pain Split on a Pokemon, especially when you've got low HP. Me too. Uh, transfer only moves. It gets air cutter through Gen Four. It gets mud slap through Gen Four and silver wind through Gen 4, and rollout actually, and sucker punch. Rollout? How would that work with a balloon? It's round. It can roll. <laughs> but it's full of helium because it it flies children to its doom. Actually, it's a flying type, but you don't know if it is made. It's got helium in it. It could do because it says it's got gas in it, but you never know. Uh, sprites, it sprites I prefer normal over shiny. Yeah, it's a yeah, weird it's combination. Up. It's just a weird combination of colours for the shiny. Mm, With the true. yellow, the blue, and the turquoise? I, I think so. It's a, just a weird combination of colours. Indeed it is, indeed it is. If we go on to number 5, it's a Pokemon that's from Gen 1. One of my, this was my original favourite ghost type. As well, so it only gets one ability, which is sad. <laughs> I, but I love its ability to do that. It's quite, it's body is quite fun. One. But do, yeah. would you like to introduce the Pokemon, my dear? So this is my favorite Pokemon, probably one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and it's Gengar. So until Gen Seven, it only had one ability, which is of course mentioned by Pika. It was Curse Body, and then in Gen Seven, it was, it was given Levitate. Which is always fun when you're fighting someone that is using Earthquake. Yep. It doesn't even, on the website, it doesn't actually say that it gets Levitate. It does. Um, Gengar's Ghost Pokemon, Shadow Pokemon, prior to Generation 7, Gengar had the Levitate ability. Mm. Anyways, so it gets... Yeah, up. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, prior to Gen 7, so before Gen 7 it had the Levitate ability. But now it has oh, Curse Body. Yeah. Oh, I'm, t I'm tired. It's fine, don't worry. I only just noticed that myself. So it now has Curse Body over there Levitate. That's what, I meant, that's what I meant to say. There we go. <laughs> but so it like, doesn't. For example, in that Go Pikachu and Eevee, having Gengar is useful against ground types. It's not good against ground types. Levitate. It doesn't get... There's no abilities in Let's Go. Isn't there? Nope. Oh, it has not. Oh, I'm... Tired. It's fine. Um, so it has a weakness against Psychic because of its poison type and ground as well because of the poison type. But it does quad resist poison. It, no, it quad resists bug as well. It resists fairy and grass types. Um, 500 total stats is best being special attack than speed. So it could be called a special sweeper in the right circumstances. Indeed. Yeah, only in Gens 3 to 4 it had the Levitate ability. Interesting. Indeed. Under a full moon, this Pokemon likes to mimic the shadows of people and laugh at their fright. Red and my blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> my favourite thing to read about that one, about Gengars, is um, if you read... I think it's Ultra Suns. You can hear tales told all over the world about how Gengar will pay a visit to children who are naughty. Or with Pearl, it's lurking in the shadow corners of a room. Wait, another that one. Um, da -da 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 -da. um, Platinum, the lift that floats in the darkness belongs to Gengar, delighting its cast in casting some people. And it has that in all the Gen 5 games as well. 
Yeah. <laughs> Why? Hiding in people's shadows at night, it absorbs their heat. The chill it causes makes the victims shake. Interesting. Charming. Sometimes on the dark moon, dark night, your shadow, <laughs> sh shadow thrown by a streetlight will suddenly and suddenly overtake you. It's actually a Gengar running past you pretending to be your shadow. But there is also a creepy path to do with Gengar. Isn't there with Clefable, I think it is? So the Clefable or Clefairy uh, about how it's their shadow. Because it's like the complete opposite with Clefable being a normal type and... Uh, Gengar being a ghost type. Maybe Gengar is the ghost of Clefable. Yeah, that's what people do say about it. That Mega Gengar sense. has its own um, Pokedex entries as well. Gengar's cool, relationships yeah. are warped. It has no interest in opponent unless it perceives them as prey. Same. It tries to take the lives of anyone and everyone. It will even try to curse the trainer who is its master. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna use a Mega Gengar anymore in Ultra Sun. <laughs> <laughs> but if we look at level up moves, it gets Hypnosis, Shadow Punch, Spite, Mean Look, Confuse Ray, Destiny Bond, um, Shadow Ball. If it gets, let's see, no, it sadly enough does not. Um, oh, why can I? Thunder, no, thunder Wave, there we go. It gets Thunderbolt and Thunder though through TM. Also with hit, uh, Vino Shock, which would be great when you have Toxic on. Make sure you can also learn it. Get Sludge Bomb. Um, which, because of its Ghost Poison type, gets Stab as well. Um, gets Focus Blast. Get rid of those annoying dark types, as well as infestation, which again, 20 powers. Uh, again, like that. No problem. Um, just I looking through that. TM moves. Gets Dazzling Gleam as well through TM, mm -hmm. which get, again gets rid of the pesky dark types. <laughs> um, it gets Shadow Punch when it evolves, regardless of level, in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Gets through egg moves, it gets the elemental punches. Yep. It gets Psy Wave, it gets Smog, Clear Smog, ironically enough. I love the fact it gets both type. it gets Smog and Clear Smog through Egg Move. Hmm. Move to moves, it gets a lot of punches. <laughs> Drain Punch, Fire Punch, Focus Punch, Ice Punch, um, Thunder Punch. Just to name a few, it gets Icy Wind as well, it gets Giga Drain, which is always fun. It's got such a diverse moveset that I, nobody would really understand, like, really know what what moves it's going to get. Mm. Wow, it doesn't seem to get Skull Bash, which... Oh, it does get Skull Bash, for God's sakes. All Gen 1 Pokemon seem to get Skull Bash. Through... <sighs> It, I don't understand it through transfer. Why do so many Gen 1 Pokemon get flipping Skull Bash? Because they want to bash your skull in. Yeah. It doesn't get Only much of a difference between its normal and shiny. It just gets a little bit more dull. Do you about to bash my skull in instead? No. Hee <laughs> hee I'm joking. If we go and look at it shiny versus its normal... I don't really know which one I prefer, to be honest. Not do I. Because it's not really much different. I just said it original, to be fair. Mm. If we go to number five, I believe it's number five. Dip. No, it's four. Whoops. It's... It is the Gen 7 Pokemon, Delmise. Delmise is interesting to it's one of two ghost grass types. I believe there's only two. The one being starter in Gen 7. If I remember correctly, you mentioned th this Pokemon in a previous episode. In the grass type top 10. Exactly. 
<laughs> Attack is its best stat, then defense, then speed. Only gets the two immunities. It gets a fire type weakness, ice type weakness, and flying type weakness. It's res it's resists water, electric, grass, and ground. Quite interesting. It doesn't have an evolution. Um, swinging its massive anchor, it can KO Whale Lord in a single blow. What appears to be green seaweed is actually its body. Right. Moves lent by level up. Shadow Ball, Phantom Force, Astonish for some of the Ghost type moves. Also gets Mega Drain, Giga Drain, Energy Ball, Power Whip, Grass types. Gets Heavy Slam and Anger Shot. Anger Shot, which is its exclusive move, which is quite interesting. So, quite a lot of Pokemon nowadays have exclusive moves. Legendary is for obvious reasons, but some normal Pokemon as well, Delmars being one of them. Um, Whirlpool as well, which makes sense because it's meant to be an anchor. So it gets a few water type moves as well. Yes. Yeah. Second, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. No problem. Just carry on. Uh, it gets Earthquake, Brick Break, Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, Aerial Ace, Energy Ball, Shadow Claw, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, Grass Knot, um, and Surf and Flash Cannon through TMs. Those are the interesting ones to me. Um, Giga Drain, Instant Possess, a good move, Tutor moves alongside Iron Head and Spike. Main Slit again. Doesn't have any transfer moves because, oh yeah, it's in Gen 7, so it hasn't been able to transfer to any other Pokemon. Uh, moves even, Pokemon, whatever. Um, and shiny, like I said before, I prefer it's normal over it's shiny. The sh I, I, I like the rusty look of the shiny's anchor. I don't like the colour of the seaweed, it just doesn't suit to me. And now if we go on to number... Um, 520, there's a tie between both forms of Aegislash plus the uh, fire ghost type Chandelure. Um, if we go to Chandelure first, I would recommend Infiltrator or Flame Body. Yeah, I'd recommend Infiltrator. Um, because it's a gra uh, go a fire type as well, it gets weaknesses to water, rock, and ground. And if it has flash fire, it also does gain an immunity to fire. But Flash fires are okay. It's best that again. I've already talked about it in the fire type one. The best that special attack, and then tied uh, second is special defense and defense, and then speed is its next. Um, gets confuse ray, which is always fun. It gets flame burst uh, by level up, and by TM it gets. Fire type moves such as Flamethrower, Fire Blast, and Flame Charge. Will O Wisp as well, which is always great. It gets Dark Pulse as well, Swagger, Sleep Talk. It gets Shockwave through Move Tutor, which is, is fun as all hell. It gets Heat Wave as well. It gets uh, Fire Spin in Prison, Ember. Um, Shadowborn Nightshade through pre evolution, just to name a few. Transfer only moves. Incinerator is the only somewhat interesting. I like both its shiny and normal sprites because ghostly fire for normal and then normal fire for normal looking fire for shiny. It's pretty cool. Now, if we go over to Aegis Slash, which is Gen 6, gets two forms being blade and shield form. Um, and Best stat for its for both forms are its attacks, and then it gets its like all of them are tied again some through some way. The steel ghost type, so it's immune to normal fighting and poison types, so it gets the extra immunity to poison. But then it also gets weakness to fire and ground type moves, as well as its ghost and dark types. It quad resists bug. 
and then it has a lot of resistances due to its steel typing being grass ice flying psychic rock dragon steel and fairy types being its resistances which is always fun um it gets an exclusive move again being king shield i believe it's exclusive to this line if i remember correctly yep learn by level up only in blade it uh, only um only Aegis Ash um, gets Aerial Ace, Fury Cutter, Head Smash, Night Slash, Sacred Sword as well, which was only, it only, I believe, used to be exclusive to the Swords of Justice. Nope. This is now it was, yeah, the Swords of Justice plus Kartana now, and it's also learnt by breeding for Oshawott, Duot, and Samurott. So, it's it's pretty good. And then it gets Sword Dance as well. If we look at TM moves, Rain Dance, Sunny Day, Toxic, so Weather and Status. Brick Break, Aerial Ace again, Gyro Ball. If it was heavy, it would be better for it. Gets Shadow Claw, Flash Cannon as well, Egg Moves, Destiny Bond, and Shadow Sneak are the interesting ones. Uh, move tutor, shockwave again, magnet rise again. Uh, well, magnet rise, which means it will become immune to ground type moves, which is actually one of its weaknesses. So it would mean it would only have three weaknesses after using that. Gets rock smash, um, through transfer only, and its shiny is pretty. It's. I like both shiny and normal. Like a normal one for that one. And if we go to number two, which is another pure ghost type, it is Dusk Noir Gen 3, I believe. I prefer pressure. Um, defenses are its best than attack. Only has two immunities, and it has two weaknesses and two resistances. Everything else is neutral. Um, it gets all of the elemental punch moves as well. It gets gravity, it gets shadow punch, nightshade, shadow sneak, fuse ray, level up, and mean look as well. Does it? No, it doesn't. A, a, shock, a thunder wave, which is sad. But I believe, I believe that thunder punch chance yeah 10% chance so there is a chance of you getting parafusion on it but not necessarily also gets future sight through tms it gets sunny day blizzard brain dance hyper beam ice beam shadow ball brick break uh focus blast charge beam willow wisp infestation rock slide tree meter swagger dark pulse egg moves yeah, and it gets Dark Pulse, it also gets Destiny Bond, uh, Grudge, Ominous Wind, Pain Split. Move due to moves, it gets the punches again for some reason, even though it learns them by level up move. Yay, it gets Pain Split again and Skill Swap again. It gets Wonder Room and Trick. It gets Ally Switch, which I never use. It gets Laser Focus, which is quite an interesting move. It gets Gravity. Again, which makes it immune to ground type moves. Pre evolution moves only on Shadow Punch. There's quite a few transfer only moves Mud Slap, Parrot Punch, Rock Smash, and Sucker Punch being all of the non normal type moves. That's Noir Sprites. I don't know which one I prefer. They're both pretty good. They're okay. Noc du Noir for French. It's a very finst German. <laughs> Your Noir. Um, and number one, which is another Pokemon that we've seen in the grass type um, top 10, which is Decidueye. It's actually number one on this list at 530. Um, I'd recommend Long Reach. Um, attacks its best, and special attack and special defense. So, at t which is tied, and then it gets. HP, then defense and speed. It 
gets a couple, it gets three more weaknesses, but three more resistances, four more resistances as well. Um, if you want to look at the moves learned by Level Up on Sidui, just use, just go back to the Grass type again. It gets the interesting. It does get um, moves that cover its weaknesses. Is always great. It gets U-turn, which covers the Dark type weakness. It gets Low Sweep as well to cover Dark type. Um, sucker Punch to cover the Ghost type weakness as well as all of its other Ghost type moves. It gets Confuse Ray. It gets Spirit Shackle. Um, I prefer it Shiny. It's Tailwind as well through Move Tutor. But yeah, it's always an interesting. It's, I always find this stuff interesting. It's known as the Arrow Quill Pokemon. Um, and I'm back. Hello. Hello, welcome back. And we have got up to number one, I'm afraid. Okay, that's fine. Which is Decidueye, if you've forgotten. Decidueye is one of my favourites. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've like I said, I've already talked about it in my Grass Type one. But I was just going through it. If you want to look through the shinies of the other Pokemon you've missed and see which ones you prefer. Um, From Delmise all the way up, I believe, is the ones that you need to see. Delmise, I prefer just the original. Mm -hmm. um, well, I don't know what you covered. I've kind of been in and out. Um, did you mention Chandelure? Yep, Chandelure. I, I don't know I which one I love Chandelure's prefer. shiny. I like both fun. of it. I like both of them, personally, because you've got the ghostly fire, then you've got the normal kind of fire. That's true, that's very true indeed. And then Aegislash, I don't know which one I prefer, because like, the black sword is pretty cool. Yeah. But then normal that's... sword's pretty cool as well. Exactly. Dusk um, Noir, I don't really care for either. I don't care either no. way. But Decidueye, shiny all the way. Yeah. Shiny all the way for Decidueye. Um... But, shiny, shiny, shiny Jawai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, so number 10, if we go back from 10 to 1, 10 was Cofagrigus, then it, and Golak, 9, Spiritomb, 8 is all of the Gorgeists, 7 is Mismagius, 6 is Driftblim, 5 is Gengar, 4 is Delmise, 3 is a tie between Aegislash and Chandelure, 2 is Dusmoir, and 1 is Decidueye. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment and subscribe. This has been Pika and Mars and we're signing off for now. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.